Hi, I'm back with the tag. It's entitled The 25 Bookish Things About Me. And it's where you talk about 25 book-related things about yourself. And it was created by Katie's Book Club, and I was tagged by Vebke over at One Book, One Review. I'll put links to both of their channels down below. So here we go. I've always loved books since I was very young. When I was in fifth grade, we had a contest at school, a reading contest. And for the books account, you had to do an oral report in front of the teacher. I managed to get through one because I was so shy. Now I work in a bookstore. For the past 28 years, I've done nothing but talk about books in front of other people. And for the past two years, I've done it on YouTube. Go figure. I've never experienced a reading slump. Don't hate me. There are, however, two books I've not been able to finish reading. One was Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, and the other one was The House of Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Way too boring. I want to enter the world of Harry Potter. I want to visit Hogwarts. I want to walk down Diagon Alley and go in all the shops. I want to see a Quidditch game. I love books that are about books, whether it's a dystopian world where they're burning books, or a book where everyone who's read it has disappeared, or the series that focuses on the cemetery of forgotten books. I love that. I absolutely hate cover changes within a series. My favorite genre is dystopian. Up until two years ago, I never had any bookshelves in the house. So most of these books have been accumulated over the past two years. Yikes. I love searching out for books, at used bookshops and library book sales. That's where a majority of these have come from. I come from a family of non-readers. I think I must have been adopted. Before I had bookshelves, I used to have to give away books or sell them to make room. I regret every single book I ever gave away. I want them back. I do judge books by their covers. Not solely, but it will make me make that final decision. I mean, check these two books out. Does it make you want to pick them up and start reading them? I'm in the middle of way too many series. I don't think anybody writes a standalone book anymore. I own two e-reading devices. I have my Nook and I have my Kindle, but I prefer physical books. I take books with me everywhere I go, whether I'm in the car, uh, I'll read them in the car if I'm not driving. I will take them to and from work. If I go out to a restaurant, I always have a book with me. I am in the middle of several books at the same time. That's generally what I do. I'm reading The Fifth Wave right now, Uglies, and The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I enjoy audiobooks. I will listen to them in the car driving to and from work. I will listen to them on my iPod while I'm out walking my dog. I like books where the main setting is a house, particularly ones that are kind of creepy and there's kids involved and they go in and explore all the secret passages and uncover all sorts of mysteries or there might be ghosts within the house. I really like that. I mean, wouldn't you like to explore that house? I'm sort of an armchair traveler. I love reading travel writing books, particularly those where people move to a new country, meet uh, the neighbors, or they're kind of interesting characters, you get to experience the food and the surroundings. These are some of my favorite ones. I really enjoy these kinds of books. Whenever I read a hardcover, I always take the dust jacket off. It's just easier to tow it around and you don't have to worry about damaging the dust jacket. Sometimes they're pretty cool underneath. I prefer U.S. trade backs as opposed to U.K. trade paperbacks, mainly because they're just much more floppier than the U.K. ones, and that means you can open them up easier and read them and not have to worry about cracking your spines, whereas with the U.K. ones, there's a lot of tension before you can even read the text in the middle. But then sometimes you just can't bypass a cover design, so I got the U.K. ones in these. I have a TARDIS TBR jar. Unread books, and you're off on a journey. This is one of my favorite places to read with my lap buddy. So that was the 25 bookish things about me. What are some bookish things about you? Tell me down below. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tag Ryan, Emma, and Aaron. I'm sure there's at least 25 bookish things about you guys. I'd like to know about them. Thanks for watching, and happy reading.